Were you a criminal, possibly, who was tried at this court? <gasps> Yes. We've had over the years we've had visitors and we've had contractors come in. Some of them have said that they are have a, a quite a strong faith, uh, whatever denomination that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they haven't liked the atmosphere in this building and they've been quite glad to finish what they're doing and, and leave. She will not work in here after hours. On many occasions she's walked along here and felt that somebody was behind her and she's turned around to address them and there's been nobody here. She could hear things being scraped across the floor upstairs as if furniture was being moved around. And then a former colleague was working up here one evening. It was summertime, so it was daylight. And he was in the building on his own. And he looked up and he saw an elderly gentleman walk past this panel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Somebody in the car in here. What's your name? Are you near the door now? Is someone near the door? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Are you here? Yes? No? That's moving. Can you go back the other way? Yep. Good evening. Tonight's investigation comes from the old Hitchin Magistrates Court building here on Bancroft. The court was built in the year 1885 and operated on this site until 1973. Let's take a look inside. In the 19th century, crime and punishment was a very different matter from what we know today. In the early part of the century, the system was governed by what became known as the Bloody Code under which more than 200 different crimes were punishable by death or by transportation to the colonies. In theory, one can be executed for such trivial matters as spitting on Westminster Bridge or impersonating a Chelsea pensioner. Of course, by the 1885, by the time this building was built, um, most of the bloody code had been repealed, although capital punishment was not abolished in this country until 1969. Such serious crimes would not have been tried here. They would have been tried at the uh, county assizes and later the Crown Courts. This was a magistrate's court, but magistrates did have the power to impose heavy fines, sentences of corporal punishment and imprisonment. The idea of a magistrate passing down a sentence of corporal punishment seems very strange to us nowadays, but was very common, particularly in the 19th century. And the sentences would normally be that of whipping or of birching. Most commonly, birching, the use of a, a bundle of birch twigs to beat a man on his uh, naked behind. This would likely result in a period of debilitation, making the uh, victim unable to work for at least a few days. Such sentences had great implications. Uh, a financial penalty and a period of imprisonment or recovery from a birching would mean that a man could not work 
and if a man could not work, he could not pay his rent. Most of the men working in Hitchin in the 1880s through into the early part of the 20th century would have been casual workers with no contracts of employment and no security of tenure of their houses. Being imprisoned, being unable to work, meant the loss of a house, the loss of the occupation and a family being forced into destitution. Taken down. Certainly a great number of worried and troubled souls would have passed through these doors to learn their fate in the courtrooms beyond. Have their fears and anxieties left any echoes around these buildings? What will our intrepid investigators discover this evening? Well, it's another dark, cold evening here in Hitchin Town Centre. And tonight, we're at the old courthouse here in Bancroft. Now, many a criminal has been sent down from this building over the years. Maybe it's their spirits come back as some sort of revenge, but all sorts of weird things have been happening here. We're here to investigate. So, Louise, where are we now? Well, this is currently the head of centre's office. OK. Yes. Um, but a former member of staff who used to work in here after hours would often say that she could hear things being scraped across the floor upstairs as if furniture was being moved around. Um, and initially, she would go and investigate, but when she realised there was nothing there, she would leave well alone. So I take it by hearing stuff being moved around, she, she was the only person in the building? She was, yes, yeah. Yes, she was, so that was a little bit disconcerting. Did that used to freak her out? Or I, I think initially, until she realised it, it happened semi-regularly, uh, okay. so she got used to it. She learned to live with it, basically. She did, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. So this is obviously now used as a hairdressing salon, but what activities have happened here? Well, we have a, a long-standing member of staff. She's been here since the building opened. Uh, the salon was set up to uh, teach students hair and beauty. She will not work in here after hours. So when the building's empty and all the staff have gone home, she will not work in this room. She will work in the room next door, but she is not keen on being in here. She doesn't like the atmosphere in this room. And I think she's quite sensitive to that sort of thing. So we've now moved upstairs. I mean, I must admit it's a warren of corridors and rooms. And yes. where are we now? We are in a double classroom. OK. Um, and some years ago, before this cupboard was put in, there was a fireplace at this end. OK. When the fireplace was taken out, a letter was found. It was from a man to his wife. He was out serving in the Second World War and he'd written her a letter and that was found behind, behind the fireplace, which is quite exciting. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um, and then a former colleague was working up here one evening. It was summertime. So it was daylight and he was in the building on his own and he looked up and he saw an elderly gentleman walk past this panel on okay. the door. Okay. He described him as being quite old fashioned of dress. He was in a suit and I believe he had a hat on. So he called out, can I help you? Okay. And he walked out into the corridor because the gentleman went this way. Yeah, yeah. And when he stepped out, there was nobody out here on the landing. OK, so we're now out in the corridor where we saw the man walking past the Yes, panel. he was going that way. OK. okay. A, a current teacher who has an office at the end of this corridor here. OK. Again, she will not work up here on her own at night. On many occasions, she's walked along here and felt that somebody was behind her and she's turned around to address them and there's been nobody here. So she will not work up here at night on her own. She always works downstairs. OK. Again, because she feels there's an atmosphere yeah, yeah. and a presence on the, on the landing. So is this guy, has he ever been seen again? Is it a one-off or...? This, he was seen by the, a form, the former employee. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't think anyone else has ever actually okay. seen him. Okay. Uh, but the current teacher that works here, she may well have had... Yeah. It might have been him that she, she could feel the presence of. Yeah, 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 sure. Who knows? So Louise, you had an experience here with the door, so tell us about that. I did. I was here one evening in the winter. Uh, we'd had some people in during the holidays. It was about five o'clock in the evening, so it was dark. 
and then it was my responsibility to lock the building at the end of the day. And in order to do to do to set the security alarm, yeah. you have to make sure every door in the building is shut firmly in its recess like this. Right. Okay. So I had been round once. I went down to set the alarm and it wouldn't set. That's not unusual. That can happen. So I went round again, checked every door in the building, went back to the alarm system and it wouldn't set again. So after the third time of checking every single door was shut, I rang my boss, a little bit desperate, I wanted to leave. I said, I can't set the alarm. And she said to me, look, Louise, just go round once more. And if you can't set it, I'll come down and I'll, I'll, I'll ring the, the uh, alarm company. So I said, OK. So I came back upstairs after having been round downstairs, came along this corridor and this door was open like that. Now, oh, wow. it's got a closer on it, so it's not even a natural angle for the door to be opened at. And um, yeah, that that did. Freak so me that out. should actually shut on its own. It should shut it's got because one of those. It's, yeah. Um, so shutters, it, you yeah. shouldn't be able to leave it at that angle. It should actually just close like that, like and that. it was open. So there's nowhere here for any any draft to to get up and and cause that to happen, and the doors are very heavy. So I obviously I, I grabbed it, slammed it shut. I ran down the stairs yeah. as if something was after me. <laughs> How I didn't break my neck, I don't yeah. know. That time when I went out to the alarm panel, it set and I was able to escape. So that that did put the hairs on the back of my neck up because... And you were definitely was, alone in the building. I was you alone in the, was building. in the building. There's nobody here. The door doesn't stay at that angle naturally. It's almost like something was holding it back. So Louise, I mean, in general, just about the building, you said certain people with a certain faith have come in and basically felt uneasy, is that right? Yes. We've had, over the years, we've had visitors and we've had contractors come in. Some of them have said that they are, have a, a quite a strong faith, uh, whatever denomination that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they haven't liked the atmosphere in this building and they've been quite glad to finish what they're doing. And, and leave. That's really interesting. Yeah, it yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this building is a warren of corridors and rooms. I mean, where do we start? Yes, I don't know. It's going to, I think, I like the idea of upstairs. Yes, um, this is the room with the letter. Yes. And then the um, Louise colleague saw a uh, spirit walking by, or somebody walking somebody by, a man walking with by. a hat. Well, let's head up there. Okay. You know, Bev, I just really love this Art Deco staircase. Yes. I was thinking the same. It's, it's... There's some fantastic original features in here. This is where... This is the corridor, isn't it? This is where the, ma the man with um, the hat walked by. Behind there was the old fireplace, yeah? Yes, and that's where they found the letter. So possibly we could, we could set up a little spirit box here and have a chat. Yep. See if anything's see here. Anything happens. Because we had we've had the historic letter there. And we've had and we've the... had the sighting of the old guy passing there. There's nothing showing on here no. at the moment. I was thinking I'm not getting anything at no, all. No. Absolutely nothing. No. I mean we had to go earlier, just didn't we? And it was going quite mad at one point. It was earlier, so yeah. So it seems to have quietened down. So um this is the door that Louise had opened. So I'm just gonna Open it and see. You can't, will it stay open if you try and prop it open or hold it? Will it? No, no, no. <laughs> it's got a spring on it, it's uh, shutting, isn't it? That's bizarre. still nothing showing on any of our meters. No. If 
if there's anyone here, would you like to make a sound? Is there anybody in this corridor with us now? Absolutely nothing. No. Is there anyone on this stairwell that would like to speak to us? Make a noise. This is crazy. They've all gone home for the night, I think. We've just switched it on. This is uh, this is quite incredible, really, because we're not picking anything up on here. But already there's some people coming through on the spirit box. Yeah. Were you a criminal, possibly, who was tried at this court? Oh, right. I guess. It could be. Thank you for coming through to us. Yep. Yes. We've did, got the spirit box on as well, haven't we, Ray? Yeah. So that's... Did you used to work here? Okay, see if you can move the, the cup a bit faster for us. We've got somebody here with us now, haven't we? Were you tried here? Were you a criminal prosecuted here? Wow. There was a yes that there. A yes. There was a yes, yeah. Yes, on the spirit box as well, wasn't there? See if you can move the beak a bit more. Can't make that out. It's okay. Did you just say Bev? It could have been Bev. I heard something over by the door. Yeah. Are you near the door now? Is someone near the door? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Are you coming in? Are you already... Oh, well, what's happening here? Oh, what was that? There's something just, over I'm by that door. Go and... Is there anybody in here? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. There's somebody in the cot in here. Okay. Someone down this corridor. Oh, what's that? Oh, right, just a light <coughs> on the, the security light. Anything out there? No, I thought there was, um, it just felt different. It's down here. Going into the courtroom. So this is this is actually where the courtroom was. I don't know about anybody else, but I've got a bit of funny head now. <laughs> Are you?
you getting a bit of a... It's definitely something about this place. This is the old court room we're in now. Yeah. Now, 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 now. Are you in here with us now? What's your name? Can you say that again? Tell us your name. There's lots of activity now. So I guess this is where the uh, judge used to sit here. Yes. I mean, I mean it's a, the... oh, yeah, it was a grand room. Are you still here with us? Left. Yeah. Did you say left? Left where? <laughs> you hear that? No, what was that? Over in that corner again. Again? What are they? Boo. Are we upsetting your peace? You just copy, you just copy what you said, it said peace, did it? There's definitely been something over there, but whenever we've gone there, nothing shows nothing up. Nothing's shown up. There has been some noise just in there. Been something near the, near the door. It's like there's something there, but they're not reaching out to us at all, are they? I'm not feeling it like we normally, you know. No. Come and do something for what? us. Tell, it, tell us a name. Give us a name. Or make a sound for us in, the, in this room now that we're in this room. We've now turned all the lights out. We maybe touch one of us. Yeah, yeah. What? I think we have to go back into that room. Go into the room upstairs. That was the one where we had the letter. Yes. And, and also you've got the door that was propped open, which we couldn't explain. Yeah. And also the, the, the man walking past the doorway. Is there anyone in here with us right now? Is there anyone in here right now? Was that a yes? Yeah. Usually these... And these are classic signs normally of anything going on. You usually have a lot going on here, don't yeah. we, them, but... Is there anyone out here in this corridor? Oh, yeah. Well... It, like I said already, it's worrying that we're not getting anything on those. No. We've not had... Wherever <laughs> we've been, or where every investigation, you always get yeah. a hot spot where you get something yeah. going on. We've not had one thing, have we? Absolutely nothing at all. I mean, it's, there's a bit of action on here, but... Yeah. But now... Oh, they've stopped now. Oh, no, no, they're, they're going, going in. They're going off the scale all of a sudden. Wow. They're going crazy. They're going crazy now. Look at that. Yeah, they're coming they're there. Both... both of them. Yeah. Is there someone here with us now? 
Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Oh my God, there's someone down there. Yeah. Or is it just the radiators? Could be but then the radiators haven't been on. It's heating, but these these are going crazy. Well, they, they've stopped again now. Oh, no, they're still going. They're still going. Something, something's going on there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that now. It's going mad. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. It's off the scale. We've now stepped outside. This building here, which is adjacent to the old courthouse, is the old police station. Now, several years ago, we did a full investigation here and Things were off the scale, and at one point, Bev, you actually got prodded. I got wise. prodded. I got prodded in the side. Yeah. Did you kill someone? Did. It was yes, I think. Yeah. Yes or did? Yeah. Who did you kill? Oh. <laughs> what was that? Don't touch my. No, perhaps I've touched a table, did I? I know. It was here. It was here. Did you just touch me? Oh, that's weird. Have you been up these stairs before? Yep. Yes. yes. That's a definite yes. Hey. 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 Were you locked up here? Could be. Could be. Mm. So. Did you go to prison from here? Probably. Probably, yeah. What was your name? Um, Sid? That was a woman's voice, so I'm not help. There was just so much going on here. Uh, unfortunately tonight we haven't got access to this building, but we've come outside to get close to it just to see if there's anything in this area, basically. Okay, so this window behind is one of the old cells at the old police station. Now, many, many people would have been locked up here, so <laughs> if there's anything going on at all, hopefully we'll pick something up here. Is there anyone here who'd like to talk to us? You get anything up there? No, nothing up there. Is there anyone here who would like to talk to us? Going up. Is there anyone here who'd like to talk to us? Oh, speak. Oh, speak. Oh, speak. Possibly. Are you here now? Is that a young lady? What's your name? What's your name? It was a name then, I couldn't quite make it up, I couldn't make that out, it was a name. It was a name then, I couldn't quite make it was a name then, I couldn't quite make it was a name then, I couldn't quite make Can you, can you repeat that? What's your name? Were you locked up here? Yeah, yeah, there's a yes, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Are you here with us right now? I think there was a yes again. There was a yes again. Let's try and stop. Let's go to the top. So this would have been the way in for people into the court, into the police station, possibly. I don't know. Oh, the, the back entrance of the yeah. where the cells are. Yeah. Is there anyone here? I can't believe that there was so much activity. Yeah, you were, there's... there's something there. I said that something then, didn't they? So more like a. I can't believe the amount of activity we had here last time. I mean, it was off the scale, wasn't it? Yes. And we're actually getting virtually zero here. Is there anyone here now? It's a, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a woman's voice. It's a woman's voice. It? What's, what's your name? That's a man's voice now. As well. What's your name? Let's try this window again. Well, that's a wrap here at the old courthouse and I mean it showed a lot of potential at the start. It did at the start. Um, really quite slow. We didn't really pick up anything on any of our um, meters or spirit box at all really. There was a few names banded about but that's yeah. something we'd have to listen to on playback. But um, when we went upstairs on our own, me and you went upstairs for the second time, our meters actually started going started. crazy and unfortunately Tony our producer <laughs> wasn't with us it at the time. Um, so overall, a bit of a mixed bag. A real mixed bag. I'm sure there is stuff going on here, and maybe we just picked the wrong night. Uh, we need knows? to find it. But uh, for now, we are Haunted Hitching. Oh, that was good. <gasps> oh. Yes. Oh. Right. 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 Dev, Dev. Yeah, it's good. Good are you here? Yes? No? That's moving. Can you go back the other way? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.